Between January 1st and January 12th, 2022, Guyana recorded a total of 7,442 new COVID cases, with the highest number of infections within a 24-hour period reported on Wednesday. So right now we have um, 7,613 active cases across Guyana. Over the last uh, 24 hours, we would have seen 1,019 uh, new cases. That was Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony, who spoke during his COVID-19 update on Wednesday. It was only on Saturday last that 1,060 new COVID cases were reported within a 24-hour period. But that record has now been shattered with Wednesday's new infections. It is suspected that the record number of cases being reported is as a result of the Omicron variant. But the local authorities are yet to confirm the presence of this highly transmissible variant. Dr. Anthony earlier this week said some 50,000 COVID positive samples have been selected to send to Trinidad and Tobago to confirm the presence of the Omicron variant here. Meanwhile, the majority of the active cases are from regions on the coastline. They are 4,878 active cases in Region 4, 912 active cases in Region 3, 561 cases in Region 6. Currently, there are 98 persons hospitalized across the country. 64 patients are at the Infectious Diseases Hospital, with 13 in the intensive care unit. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony provided an update on the countrywide vaccination campaign. In terms of vaccination for adults, we have uh, 415,611 persons uh, who receive a first dose vaccine. That's about 81% of our adult population. In terms of second dose, uh, we have had 301,918 persons who receive a second dose vaccine. That's about 58.9% of our adult population. Uh, for persons 12 to 17, uh, we have given out 31,333 uh, first dose, and uh, we that's about 43% of that age cohort, and we have done 22,193, or 30.4% of that age cohort, a second dose. And with boosters, um, we are now at 20,713 booster doses. The health minister continues to urge persons that if they have been exposed to someone who tested positive for the virus, they should wait for at least five days before they get tested. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.